Never tell me what I can't do. And if you do tell me what I can't do, I'll have to do it for spite. That's the way I roll. I will have to show you, which is really showing myself, that I can. That's you. Look at this. I want you to tell me, is this the easy way out? Because people say that gastric patients, people who have weight loss surgery, are taking the easy way out. Does this look easy? Why did I have weight loss surgery? Well, I was close to 400 pounds. I don't even have a number. There were scales that wouldn't give me a number. That's how large I was. I was very uncomfortable. I was very unhealthy. And I believed what was being said about why I was heavy. I believed the story that you must be a compulsive overeater to be that heavy. And in my desperation, I had a surgery that would force me to eat a lot less. And of course, anytime you d go on a diet, it works right away. Diets always work in the short term, always. And 99% of the time, they will make you gain more weight in the long term. And the story people are sold is that, well, you must not have had enough willpower to stick with the program. Now, there's no way that 99% of people who go on diets have no willpower. The odds are just not in favor of that being so. This is my video update. I lost 140 pounds and I have a waist now. And I'm doing much better. And I'm happy. And I can move. And I can stand. And I can walk. And in the meantime, I'm just happy with exactly how I am. And exactly who I am. And I wish the same for you. My father married my mother because she looked good with his convertible. And she was. She was stunning. She was blonde, long-legged. She had the beauty mark drawn. I mean, this is the 1950s. And she, and she looked like Marilyn Monroe. Absolutely beautiful. So um, he was vain himself and handsome. My daddy was handsome. And he was a weightlifter and this and that. So, you know, appearance meant something to him because I guess that's what he was rewarded for or criticized for. It all comes from our families of origin. So, of course, he wanted the best for me. And he thought perhaps shaming me for my size might encourage me to lose weight. And, of course, it didn't. Shame never works. And so he actually said the words to me, how could you get up in front of a classroom looking like that? Oh, I was so hurt. And I did tell him about it. You know, I told him that it hurt me, but... And he apologized profusely and never meant to hurt me, but still. It's like, really? I have to look a certain way to be smart and to be a good educator? Because you know what? My professors weren't lookers. <laughs> I mean, some of them were, were lovely and they're be everyone's beautiful in their own way, but this isn't red carpet time. I had two master's degrees. Really? That's not enough for you to be proud? I also have to look a certain way? So that hurt. And then one of my first reviews, because, hey, I was a new teacher. I didn't quite know what yet worked in the classroom. Um, a student on Rate My Professors, one of my first Rate My Professors, was that I was very irritating and that I looked like a giant jigglypuff. I had to look it up. It's a mixed, 
as, as hurtful as it was, it was funny. A Jigglypuff is a Pokemon. And it's a big round Pokemon. And when it sings, it puts people to sleep. So I'm like, well, that's kind of clever. I put you to sleep, but that's not what the insult was about. It was about my size and my shape. So that was hurtful. I started writing when I had um, weight loss surgery in 2006. I wanted to be one of those success stories. And if I was going to suffer, I wanted it to be public. And I wanted it to be for the purpose of educating and helping people. And I wanted to document this journey. And everyone was going to see how hard I was working. And so I began the blog. Uh, I have people who come in and out of my life. Students who... Sometimes I don't know who they are until they write to me and say, you know, I was quiet. I sat in the back of the room, but you really had a positive effect on me. I, keep, I have a file box full of uh, letters and essays from students I've been teaching 12 years. And I keep them as a reminder that I'm doing the right thing. Whether my confidence level is up or down, I'm doing the right thing. I'm helping them. What if we stopped feeling terrible about the way we looked and started going out and saving the world? What if we just said, ah, screw all this? And stopped believing it, stopped letting people hurt us with their comments, and just went out there and lived? What would the world be like? If my personal life can help people, if my life lessons can help people, then it's my obligation to tell my story.